Hey there, it's Sandra. I am giving you a tutorial today on a question that I get asked so many times, a um, couple of times even just this week. So I figured I'd put together a little video to kind of make some things clear about the big question is how do I manage being on all the social media, right? There's so many different platforms. I can't keep up. I don't know the shapes. I don't know what content. It's just too much for me. So I hope you're going to like my answer because it's not quite what everybody else says. Um, most people will tell you that you need to be on every platform, right? Because you never know where, where your um, clients and customers might be. So you should be on Facebook and Instagram and um, even TikTok and all, you know, you need to be everywhere. Well, my answer is quite different because there's only so much um, as smaller businesses that you can handle. Um, additionally, we're not all good at everything, right? Some of us write better. Some of us are better on camera. Um, we're just, you know, and, and also by the nature of our businesses. Now, um, if you have a product business, you necessarily have more images that will be better for one of the platforms that's image heavy, like an Instagram or Pinterest or something. Um, if you need to talk more in order to educate about your products, well, then maybe, you know, um, even Twitter a little bit um, or Facebook, of course are better platforms for that kind of a thing. So the short answer is pick your best platform. Your best platform is where you get the most customers that you know are your ideal customers and that you are comfortable there as well. So you're not just picking what you like the best, but you're picking where they are and you like to spend time there because you have to be comfortable in the place where you're going to market the most. Now, what you can do is you can repurpose your work into the other platforms for extra exposure. So when you hear, you know, so-and-so made you know, $10,000 a day on Instagram and you're like, I'm not on Instagram. I have to go do that. Um, that might be a great fit for that person with their business that they've been in business for a while and they have an image heavy focused business. Um, so that may or may not be you, right? So you can't just follow what everybody says. Um, or, you know, another common thing is you, what are you doing? You need community. You have to have a Facebook group, but if you're selling products, it's a little bit more challenging. You really don't need to have, you know, long conversations consistently with the same people in that only way in a group. So you have to kind of weigh everything, right? Everything's customized. You have to decide what's the right way for you. You have to decide what you like to do, where your audience is, and what's the best way to be able to reach them. How do they like to learn things and get things? You know, do they like to respond to these quick, quick uh, pieces like a Twitter or, um, you know, Pinterest or Instagram, or are they more engaging and they need more conversation? And then you're going to be on, you know, a Facebook platform or even a YouTube. So think about that. Pick if you're not are starting out, pick your best platform first. Okay. Pick one and make it your own. Own your space. Uh, find your customers there. Grow some critical mass and, you know, kind of repurpose some of your content into these other places. Um, even if podcasting is your thing and you love audio, then repurpose that into some other areas get some additional exposure that way, but you won't be wearing yourself out. And the level of focus that you have will bring you more success than trying to do everything all at one time. So I hope this answer gives you some relief that you don't have so much work on your plate um, and makes being on social media much more manageable and a lot of fun like it's supposed to be. And we wish you all the success with whichever platform is your favorite.